Hi everyone, uh, I just want to encourage you today around the verse Jeremiah 29 verses 11 to 13 and it says for, um, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then, then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I think with the new year it can be an exciting thing and seeing what this new year will have in store for us but then also it can be scary and daunting because that unknown always can always be like in the back of your head and you don't know if it's going to be something good or something bad but we're told in verse 11 that God has plans for us to prosper and for hope and it's nice to know that our future is safe with God but like me for some of us, it's not enough just to know that our future is safe. Sometimes we need a bit more information. Like for me, I like knowing all the facts before I jump into something, and I like to have like a rough idea about what's going to happen. But with God, when he tells me um, where he wants me to go, I can sort of be a bit hesitant and a question and be like, is this from you, God? But if we read on in verse 12, it says, we will call on God and pray to him and he will listen to us. So it's a great thing that we started the year off with this time of prayer and fasting because we are actually making an effort to spend time in God's presence in our personal time rather than only on a Sunday that we have this time where we can connect with God and when he pray, when it says when we pray to him he will listen to us he'll listen to all this like distress and maybe this the questioning that I have and he whilst he may not show me more of the path he has lined for me he will give me some sort of idea or nudge saying, yes, this is from me, this is what I want for you. And then, so verse 12 tells us that we should pray to him, but then verse 13 goes on to tell us how we should pray for him. And it says, we need to seek God, and when we seek with him with our whole heart, that's when we'll find him. With this time of prayer and fasting, we, we base it all around seek. Um, so when we fast, we kind of, we remove something from our, life so it might be your xbox it might be food it might be social media but we're taking away this distraction so we can focus our whole heart on god so i just wanted to encourage you today and say sit in the presence of god see what he says for you and what he wants for your future and see where he can take you in 2024